Hi everyone, Sean Carey with Migration Productions and welcome back to Exploring the Natural World. Thanks for tuning in again. If you've watched any of my past videos, typically you see me doing these opening segments from my home studio, which is located just outside of Boston. But as you can tell, I'm definitely not in my home studio and I'm most certainly not outside of Boston right now. I'm actually going to be recording this entire video here in Florida, which is where I'm at. And this is going to be a little bit different in that this is going to be a product review that we're going to do on several items and we're going to break it up into two videos. This is going to be segment number one. And for this first video that we're going to do the product reviews for, we're going to review the flex shooter ball head, which you see mounted to my Gitzo tripod, and the big grip, which you see here, which is attached to my Canon 100 to 400 millimeter version 2 lens. Both of these items were sent to me by the folks at Hunt's Photo, which is located just outside of Boston. Uh, I've been a longtime supporter of Hunt's Photo, and I've purchased the bulk of my photographic equipment from them over the last 20 to 25 years. I have such a good relationship with Hunt's Photo, in fact, that I've actually taught several workshops over the years, including several with my good friend Mike Militia, and I've given other live programs and that sort of thing. But again, for this particular video, we're going to do a product review. And how this all came about is I had a, a Zoom call with uh, Gary Farber and Noah Buchanan from Hunt's Photo, and they'd asked me if I would do a review of some items while I was here in Florida, and I agreed to it, so they shipped everything down to me, and that's what we're going to do. So I'll leave the link below with the contact information and other details for Hunt's Photo and these particular items, so that if you're interested, you can certainly contact them. I'm going to take them out into the field, we're going to do a review, we're going to put it through its paces, and I'm going to give my honest opinion. If I like it, I'm going to tell you I like it, and if I don't like it, I'm going to tell you I don't like it. So, stay tuned. This is the first of two reviews that we're going to do. Here we go. Flex Shooter and the Big Grip. Let's do it. Okay, we are back, and I'm going to review the first item that was sent to me from Hunt's Photo, and that's going to be this Flex Shooter ball head that you see mounted on top of my Gitzo tripod. Mounted on top of the Flex Shooter is my Canon 600mm f4 lens with a Canon 1DX Mark II body. So, quite a big rig that's sitting on top of the Flex Shooter, but I have to tell you this thing handles it no problem. If you are familiar with the Unique Ball, which I own, this is a huge improvement over the Unique Ball. Unique Ball's okay, this is much, much better. They really took something like the Unique Ball and made it so much better. So, what do we got going on here? You have a ball head within a ball head, and there's these two levers here that you need to know about. The first one is the black one that's down below, and when you loosen that, you can then take the ball head inside of the ball head, the silver ball, and you can level it out just that quick. Head is now level. Then with the silver knob, you can loosen or tighten that, and that gives you your pan and tilt. And it acts very much like a gimbal head in a lot of ways, and the drag is very, very nice, very smooth. So that when you're tracking or panning with something, boy, it reacts very well. Again, a huge improvement with these folks did at Flex Shooter. So if you're a nature or wildlife photographer and you're in the market for a new head of any kind and you have a large telephoto lens, you definitely want to take a look at this. Particularly if you're going to be traveling, you've got something that's smaller, lighter weight, takes up less of a footprint in your camera bag. Boy, this really checks off a lot of boxes. Uh, you know, look, I got a... Um, common galanu over here and let's just line it up and pan with it here just that drag just slightly wow really nice very sweet so I'm gonna rate everything from 1 to 10 I'm gonna give this a 9 you say Sean you were just raving about it why aren't you gonna give it a 10 you know I have an old original Wimberley gimbal head, one of the big bulky ones, which I like a lot because it's very stable for the video I shoot. And when I have to kind of chuck it in the back of my vehicle when I'm kind of on the go, I don't have to worry about it getting banged up and that sort of thing. That would be my only concern with the flex shooter is these two knobs here. That you might bend those or maybe even break them. Again, not that you're going to be that rough with your equipment and hopefully you're not, but that would be the only thing that would just slightly not want me to give it a 10 as far as that's concerned. But overall, this is really a great product. So. There you have it. That's the first item, the flex shooter. If you're in the market for something like that, give Gary or uh, Noah a call up at Hunt's Photo. Uh, check it out. I think you're really going to be impressed. That's item number one. Let's move on to item number two. Here we go. Okay, we are back with item number two, and that's going to be from Photo Gear's design, and it's going to be the Big Grip. And this is the Big Grip for the Canon 100 to 400 millimeter version 2 lens, which I have sitting right next to me. We'll take a look at that in a second. 
If you open up the box, you're going to find your instructions in here, which you're going to need. The actual big grip itself fits very nicely in the hand. We'll take a look a little bit closer at that in a second. And then any of the tools that you're going to need for taking your foot off of your lens and then mounting the new big grip on there. So the big grip itself, if you take a look at it, very nicely designed, ergonomically designed, fit very nicely in your hand. Higher profile for your hand, so you can get in there very nicely. Uh, it's Arca Swiss compatible, so if you have any type of a ball head, gimbal head, or whatever it is that's Arca Swiss compatible, like this uh, flex shooter, that's going to fit right in there, no problem. Very nice as far as that's concerned. And if you take a look at the Canon 100 to 400, and you see the size difference and the profile there, it's much bigger as far as that's concerned, but it doesn't feel heavy. You know, it doesn't feel like it's real weighty, but it's very well designed, feels very sturdy. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the foot off my Canon 100 to 400. We're going to mount the big grip on there, and we're going to see what it feels like on the lens itself. And uh, I think I'm going to be impressed with this. This this has some real potential. And again, I haven't even mounted it yet. So uh, let's do that next, and now we'll continue on with the review. Okay, I have the big grip mounted to my Canon 100 to 400 millimeter version two lens that you see here. The profile, as you can see, is much uh, higher in terms of being able to get your hand in there. And that grip, boy, that feels really nice. It's it's much more ergonomically designed. And if you take a look at the foot that comes with the Canon 100 to 400. I mean, there's just no comparison, right? I mean, it's just pretty astonishing. And uh, boy, this feels really solid. It mounted very easily. Uh, I like the way this feels. It's got a nice grip to it, the big grip. And uh, again, this is going to be Arca Swiss compatible, so I can mount that right on this flex shooter head or any other type of Arca Swiss style head that I own. I've owned several, including Wimberley and gimbal heads and um, ball heads and that sort of thing. So yeah, this is... Um, this is going to be a nice addition. I like this. And the other thing is, you know, I use a black rapid strap as well. And the strap that I have has this adapter piece here from Kirk, and that's going to fit also right onto there. So I'm going to do right now. And you can see that that works quite well, and I can sling that over my shoulder. So, yeah, this is... Um, this is a nice job by these folks. Uh, this big grip, this is going to be a nice addition. If we're going to be rating things again from 1 to 10, you know, boy, I'm really close to giving this a 10. But I think, again, it's going to be a 9, only in that, um, again, I'm really hesitant to give anything a 10 because I think things have to be absolutely perfect. And the fact that I haven't used it in the field just yet, but boy, just a little bit I've done here, I think I'm already sold on this item, and I think you will be too. So contact the folks at Hunt's Photo if you're interested in this big grip. I think you're going to like it. Boy, this, uh, this feels real nice. So that's our second item down. We'll move on to item number three here. Uh, stay tuned. Okay, so there you have it. That's my review for the Flex Shooter Ball Head and the Big Grip Replacement Foot, which again you see attached to my Canon 100 to 400 millimeter version 2 lens. I was digging on both of those items, as you saw from my review. Stay tuned for the next video, which is going to be a review of two items, which is going to be the Mini Max Travel Stool and the Benro carbon fiber gimbal head. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos here on exploring the natural world. As always, remember, please help protect wildlife and help protect wild places. Cheers. Mm -hmm.